Hey, Shalom, this is Brother Iwan with GMS South Carolina. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushah, Bahashim Rakah Kadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone. And I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth and sincerity. I was reading earlier, uh, Jeremiah 11 chapter, and I figured I'd do a quick lesson uh, because this statement was made here in Jeremiah 11 and 2. It says, Hear ye the words of this covenant which I speak unto uh, the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So the men of Israel. Okay. So when you go through time and time again, as you go throughout the volume of the book, it makes sure that uh, the reader knows who it's addressing, who it's speaking to, whom these words concern. All right. And, uh, that's, that's just the, the point I want to, to bring out there. But it goes on in verse 3 to say, And say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice and do them according to all which I command you. So shall you be my people, and I'll be your God. So the Lord gave us, it goes back to that ultimatum that he gave the nation of Israel in the wilderness. So you go to Deuteronomy 28 uh, and 1 or 2. All right, you, we'll start at the top, though. Deuteronomy 28 and 1, it said, And it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Above, not equal to not hand in hand above right Deuteronomy 7 to 6 um, you know verse 2 and all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee that thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God but then you jump down to verse 15 we get the other side of that coin it says but if thou it, it reiterates what's said in Jeremiah the 11th chapter says but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay, now we go back to Jeremiah the eleventh chapter, and all, and uh, you know all these all these curses are upon our people right now, and that's how you identify who the nation of Israel is. There's no way around that. Nobody else could say that they fit to to the T, to every detail. The curses of Deuteronomy. The 28th chapter besides the so-called black latino native american people all right now we're going back to jeremiah i actually want to read jeremiah 17 4 as well so let's read that really quick jeremiah 17 4 and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that i gave thee and i will cause thee to serve thine enemies okay so he's saying that these people will be stripped of their heritage that they wouldn't even know who they are as a people they wouldn't know what, what where they come from and we're the only nation that call ourselves a color and two continents all right the lord knows what else um verse 4 again jeremiah 17 and 4 it says and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance that i gave thee and i will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. So even the prophet Jeremiah, when he came back in his regeneration, would discontinue from his heritage. He wouldn't know that he's an Israelite. But the fact that we're, we're coming back into that understanding lets you know what time we're in as well, which is the time of the end. Now let's go back to Jeremiah the 11th chapter. All right, Jeremiah 11 and uh, 4. It says, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, from the iron furnace saying obey my voice and do them according to all which i have commanded you so shall you be my people and i will be your god that i may perform the oath which i have sworn to your fathers to give them the land flowing with milk and honey as it is this day then answered i and said so be it O lord so the lord has promised us you know uh, the land the holy land right now it's overrun with our nemesis it's overrun with edom um but the Lord is going to place us back in our land after the kingdoms of this world are thrown down. And that's what we're waiting on, man. That's what we're hastening for, the coming the coming of our Lord. All right, now I'm going to jump down later in this chapter, in Jeremiah 11 chapter. It says, uh, what 
which is started verse 8, Jeremiah 11 and 8. It says, Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart. Talking about our people, man. They went after other gods. They went after other philosophies. They want to, you know, be clung unto the world. All these different things. Okay. Therefore will I bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. Verse 9. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Let's look up the word conspiracy. All right. Conspiracy. And Elder Gabar always goes into the importance of looking up words. All right. There we go. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. A secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. The action of plotting or conspiring. And our people, you know, they, they, they've always been, you know, in that spirit of, you know, trying to go behind the, the prophet's back to do things, do, you know, going about things a roundabout way, even in the wilderness. You know, they built the golden calf. They wanted to mimic what the Egyptians were doing. Our people wanted a king because the other nations had a king. Always conspiring to do things, you know, in a contrary fashion in which the Lord has already set before us. Okay. Um, verse. Where was I? Where was I? Verse 9. The Lord said unto, uh, unto me, a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. All 12 tribes. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. So the curse came upon us. It's very plain, man. And uh, it's, it, it constantly reiterates what people that it's talking to. It's not talking to everybody. Okay. And we've been given prophecies and things of the sort to identify who those people are in this time, man. So this truly is a family book. You know, although it's a disheartening thing to see the, the state that our people are in, it's also lifting because we know it's in store for the remnant of our people. And through that remnant, the whole nation is going to benefit and, and, and get to live in righteousness. You see? All right? But because our people, they didn't want to hearken unto the counsel of the Lord, He's in it, it's, it's going to come a day where a big portion of our people are going to suffer for that. They're going, to, they're going to catch hell behind it. And it talks about that in Proverbs, the first chapter. You go down to um, verse uh, 25. We'll start there. Proverbs 1 to 25. It says, But ye have said it not all my counsel. Who's the Lord's counsel? Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. The prophets, the men of the Lord, have always been the Lord's counsel. That's who he uh, speaks through. Okay? Proverbs 1 25. But ye have said it not all my counsel, and will none at my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity, and will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Let's look up whirlwind here. You know, if, you, if you're caught in a whirlwind, that wind is coming at you from all sides. You know? Whirlwind, a column of air moving rapidly around and around in a cylindrical or funnel shape. Used in similes and metaphors to describe a very energetic or tumultuous person or process. Okay, back to the precept. Verse 27, Proverbs 1 to 27. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be no hope when that when that judgment begins to roll. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They're not even going to know the Lord's name, because to even know the Lord's name, you got to be in tune with this word. You got to be diligently seeking Him, because He doesn't reveal the name to everybody. But you have people as well who know the Israelites and say the name is of none importance. But clearly, the Scriptures say the name of the Lord is a strong tower; the righteous run into it and is safe. But you know that's that's a lesson for another day. Verse 28 again, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but shall not find me. Because they didn't follow, pursue the Lord in their doings, man. They weren't repenting. They, they, they weren't in that spirit of, 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 being, of 
knowing how loaded they, they became because of the disobedience to the Father. All right, verse 29. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So I was reading Jeremiah 11 and I just figured I'd make a quick lesson. You know, my, my, my daily video. Uh, probably get up in the morning early and go live. Get my video early, out of the way early. I was on the road all day today. So I wasn't able to uh, really do it you know, while I was driving. I was in the car with bunch of people so with that being said man i'm gonna try to get a little bit of rest wake up early and go live so all praises to the most high yahweh by hashem yahweh by hashem when the double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone and shalom on to all the brothers and of course the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity all right being blessed and election be upon your house shalom